the first sport in Cuba is baseball. Second sport, sport is judo. That's the sport that I chose and I never stopped. I uh, started going to judo. A friend of mine had a black belt friend of his who was from the school that started everything that was the Coleskini, Andre Coleskini School. Judo grew um, because it was free and anybody could, could take judo. Before, no, before you had to pay, a lot of people couldn't even afford it. And then, you know, I grew up, I won a lot of tournaments, I won a national, so on and so forth. I made a junior team. Uh, we went out on a tour of uh, European, uh, East, East European countries. And on the way, on the, uh, way back, uh, I uh, escaped. What do you mean? You are? Well, I took off from the group. Oh, okay. So you were representing Cuba? Yes, yes. And then I walked out. Tell me about that. When, when you went there and what was your plan? Well, my plan was always to come, uh, come to the United States and it worked out fine. You know, I told them I was going to go to the restroom and I just took off. And what did you go with? I went to the Swiss Embassy. So you had I, a plan? Yes, I had a plan. I had a cousin that explained to me all about uh, where to stay and if I defected. I got into America and then I went to, like everybody else, Cuba and goes to Miami. Yeah. And I grew up in Miami. I got a lot of friends in Miami. Great judo state. Uh, you know, I grew up with a lot of guys who, who are uh, tremendously good, good, uh, good fighters. It came from a, a lot of areas. So what is it with the Cuban judo? I mean, it's, it's, a it's because we practice they, judo. Uh, it it's a they, big thing. It's a second thing from second sport in Cuba. But, First but, is baseball. I've been blessed to have excellent athletes. Well, what is it that, I mean, what is it in you that inspires these kids, adults to get into... Well, you know why? I, I, I work with them. I work with them. And I, I'm not their friend. I make sure that they know I'm their coach. And, and, and I tell them, you know why I'm telling you this? It's because I'm older than you and I had that same experience that you're having now. Now you can take it or not take it, but I guarantee you, if you take my way, you do great. But a lot of kids in uh, deprived areas don't get a chance to go to a recreation club like you have because it's cost. I know, but the, the thing is, is that I, I, I help them out. In my club, they don't have to pay if they don't have any money. I'll put up, I'll put up the money. How do you do that? Well, I have people that some friends of mine sponsors, and, sponsors and, and friends that help me that I can call. I said, hey, I need some money for, for one of my kids and, and so they give it to me. So you're not trying to become a millionaire? No, I'm not a millionaire and I'll, and I'll never be a millionaire. It's always a struggle to get money for these kids. You want to develop good human beings. Yes. But in the meantime, out of a hundred kids that I might have, I might get 10 champions. And the rest of them are, are not champions, but they do well and, 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 and they're great, great human beings. Man. So how does that make you feel when they win? Well, it's not what it makes me feel when they win. It's what I see in their faces when they win. You can't pay for that. You can't, you can't pay for that. That happiness there, that they know that all the hard work they put in worked. You know, it happens for adults too. Yes. You're the first Cubano, Latino to ever achieve the rank of. No, I'm actually 
the second to get uh, uh, the nine done, which means that you can wear a red belt. And I always said, and I always follow my teacher that, that says that a belt is just to hold your pants. So yes, it's great and to be recognized by other high ranks, but it's not about that. I know people who are, are showdowns and they're great teachers. It's not all about the belt. There are like thousands of corporations in America that would love to donate because it's tax deductible to an organization like this. Like I don't give up on judo. I never give up on USA judo. Right. So there's, there, there, they... there's a lot of, there's a, a big percentage, big percentage of the people in USA judo who are in the board of directors, in other jobs, they're great people, man. In order for USA Judo to be able to give money to the athletes, they gotta have a form of for them to make money, all the things that they gotta do. It's not free, you know, they got, they got an overhead. They're sponsors, so we need people to go out there who love Judo to get sponsors. Whoever sees this, I hope uh, that uh, we all work together and if we owe, if we can give uh, to somebody that needs our help and they want to go to a tournament, we we need to help them out. And I know a lot of judo instructors, and I know they're like me. They're out there. They don't get paid, or at least they don't get paid enough. And they're there, making every day they go, making they, every day count and having all these kids uh, in their mat, having a great time and enjoying judo. That's what it takes, sponsors. America does not give money to their athletes. Their parents have to do it and we need corporations. Judo in uh, France, for one, and all the other countries, they're far ahead of us. In I know, they're always, I mean, they're always been. Incredible. And, and if you win a gold medal for them, they give you a million dollars. And they have a lot, they have a, they have a lot of companies. What is the difference between their mentality and I have no, I have no idea. That's why I'm te I teach judo. If I knew about that, I'd be, I'd be asking USA Judo to give me a job and trying to get sponsors. People ask me, would you do it again? Would you do it again? Because I had a lot, of, you know, I had a lot of chances to have a lot of good, great jobs, and and you know what? What I tell them, yeah, I do it again. Uh, my wife has helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, she puts up with a lot of the stuff. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't have done it without her. Yeah.